Parvision says, see, I'm modding. Did you ban some people just to prove that you're modding? Oh, okay, you banned... No, you banned... Look at who Parvision banned. He banned lovechat.xyz best adult dating site. I want that in the chat. The people want that. Don't ban that. Come on now. People. Some people are just trying to link us to the best adult dating sites out there. Way to go, Parvision. Parvision's just cock-blocking all of us. All right, that's cool. Fireboy Sanjay says, Yamato's joining the crew, my guy, Cope Elmeo. Two things can be true. Yamato can be the worst written character probably in the entire series, and Yamato might be joining the crew. What's What else is there to say? Brandon King says, Yamato will grow with outside experiences like Odin. Shh. Like, what, <laughs> what am I supposed to say to this? Because it's just like, okay, maybe this character becomes well-written down the line, but at the moment, her joining the crew feels like the most unearned, like, character achieving their goal that we've ever seen in the story. It's like, she's getting exactly what she wants with basically zero development or growth or anything required, or like any friction of any sort required to get that, basically. It's like, she read some stuff, she's like, this is it, this is my destiny, etc. And it's like, oh, I guess it basically is. Wow, it's, it's, it's kind of bizarre. Um, maybe she becomes well-written at some point, but at this point in time, it's just like, I don't... I. Right now, I don't know why a single person would like the character other than her being, you know, a uh, tall woman with big titties. Like, that's literally the only reason that makes sense to me. Because, again, if you read her dialogue, it's terrible, right? It's literally, I'm Odin, I'm Kazuki Odin. Hi, I'm Odin. I'm going to go out to sea and just have a magical time with everybody. So, again, swap it with a different character. Fat dude, fat dude with big titties. Do we still like this character? Probably not. No development or whatever, no growth, no real character struggle, no character conflict, nothing. She's being rewarded by being put on the crew. Again, imagine, fat dude with titties. Are we liking any of this? Probably not. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And do we have people defending fat dude with titties being like, you know what, they're not a bad character, we like him. They'll get good character development in the outside world, even though this whole arc was basically about them and their core character story and background, and what they're fighting for right here, and literally everything related to the character is right here. No, it's all being saved for the outside world. Christian Braza says, at some level, Yamato and Weevil are the same character, delusional dummies. On a side note, yeah, okay, imagine instead of Yamato, we swapped it for Weevil. Would we be really liking this character? They, they're the fucking same thing. There's very little difference between Yamato and we Weevil, other than Yamato's heart is in a better place, obviously. Uh, but they're basically the same fucking thing. Like, if Yamato just looked like... If Yamato was just Weevil, walking around being like, I'm Whitebeard's son, so I have to join your crew. I'm Whitebeard's son, so I have to join your crew. Let's free Wano so I can join your crew. I'm Whitebeard's son. And he just looked like a giant doof. Would we all be like, fuck yeah, we love Weevil? Disaster Master says, Yamato is a clout chaser. Completely disowns Kaido to everyone who knows Odin, but quickly uses Kaido's clout to anyone who only knows Kaido. That's actually a really funny way of putting it. Yeah, she's like, I'm Odin's son. Greenbull would be like, who the fuck is that? Sheriff Lafitte says, what if in the next chapter we see Raizo's remains at the shrine with Izzo and Ashra's, but no one mourns? I think we, I think we would know if, La if uh, Raizo's dead. Raizo's not dead, guys. Captain Face says, next time we see Kaido, maybe with Pluton in the magma pit, the reason it wasn't found in underwater Wano was because it is even lower in Mount Fuji. Look, that would be cool. That would be cool. Would be cool. I'm just not going to think about it. I'll just always say, yeah, that'd be cool. But it, I'm just... Because <laughs> look, here's what's going to go happen. All right. It's like, probably like, is this what happens with alcoholics when they are reformed and they go through all of their rehab and stuff? Do alcoholics have to go to rehab or is that just like hardcore drug users? Once an alcoholic has done all of those things, and, like, been like, okay, now I'm clean. I'm free. I'm out of it. And then someone's like, hey, but have you considered this new tequila that I've got? And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I guess, I guess it looks nice, but I'm not going to touch it. That's where we're at right now. Looks nice, but I'm not going to touch it, okay? Because once I start spiraling, spiraling down this, then what happens? Next week, I'm putting out a video. Kaido and Big Mom are coming back. The following chapter, it's like Wano... Wano Act 3 end, Strahd sailing away to Elbaf, curtain closes on the whole thing. I'm like, fuck, why'd I do that to myself again? How fast can I type? Oh, you guys want to see me play Type Racer? I'm like, not bad. I haven't tried on this keyboard.
pretty good. Fuck. Alright, whatever. That one had words messed up. That's not my fault. Quiet Life says, imagine if Luffy had chosen Shanks as his first Yonko to beat. That would be hilarious. The entire Strahd crew would have been knocked out before even reaching his island, LMAO. Yeah, the hockey... Okay, I was... I thought that the hockey scene from Shanks was one of the coolest scenes that we've had uh, as of late. Even after everything that happened in the war, which had, you know, lots of character, characters flexing, like, a bunch of abilities. Shanks is one panel of just showing off... Because he did it from so far away. Like, it makes... It's actually mind-boggling, Right? We've never seen something like that. Nothing, there's not, there's not a Conqueror's Hockey feat that's even really kind of close to that, right? Up till now, I guess sky splitting was the standard for impressive Conqueror's Hockey. I'd say, yeah, sky splitting, probably that was the standard. But this was like, you're scaring away an admiral from more than an island away, right? Not even more than an island away. He's not even on the, the fucking, he's not even on the waterfall or shit, right? He's, he's, <laughs> How far away is he? That's absolutely insane. And to be able to let out enough that Green Bull's actually shaken? That's insane. All right. Uh, Amber229 says, I really don't like Morge haircut. It looks terrible. <laughs> it will grow back. The hair will grow back. That's what happens. Just leave it alone. And I promise the hair will grow back. And it will be back to what it was before. I did probably get a little bit too much cut off. Let's all have... A bit more of a mentality like Amanita Glassworks, who just said, Don't let these guys get to you, Daddy Morge. I'd crawl naked through broken glass just for the chance to wait 40 minutes for your streams. That's the right mentality. Lovechat.xyz, best adult dating site. I want that in the chat. <laughs>